Hello tech world and welcome to another video. Today we will be looking at my Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Plus desk setup. We'll take a look at all the accessories I use as well as talk about my experience when using this setup. As someone who mostly runs this channel with his M1 MacBook Pro, I thought it would be a fun experiment to try something different. With so many videos on YouTube of people with an iPad Pro desk setup, I figured why not show people what the Samsung Galaxy tablets are made of. If you're new to the channel, we cover everything tech and gaming, so make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any future content. Without further ado, let's get to the setup. Getting into this desk setup, I am currently using the Vosatron Height Adjustable Electric Standing Desk. This standing desk is 55 by 24 and comes in a white and walnut color with a powder coated finish. This desk, in my opinion, is great for those looking to get work done as it allows the user the option of either working while in a chair or while standing. What's also great about this desk is the fact that it provides one with a desk hook, which is great for placing headphones, as well as a bracket perfect for cable management, which is something I am still currently working on. When it comes to pricing, this stand is being sold for a great price as you can find this desk for $170 on Amazon. Links to everything in this video can be found in the description below. On top of my desk, I have a Westtree dual monitor stand riser. This stand riser has been perfect for me as it has provided me with the necessary space to store my most crucial accessories. On top of the desk riser, we have my monitor, which is the Dell 2721 DGF. This monitor is a 1440p IPS QHD 165 hertz refresh rate monitor that comes with a one millisecond response time. It also comes with NVIDIA G-Sync, AMD FreeSync Premium Pro, and more. When it comes to ports and slots, this monitor comes with two HDMI 2.0 ports, a 1.4 display port, and a USB 3.0 upstream and downstream port. I've had this monitor for a few years now, and it's been my main monitor for gaming and productivity. Though it's been great, I'm currently looking to upgrade as I've decided that I need a 4K monitor when it comes to video editing for this channel. Let me know down in the comments if you have any recommendations when it comes to a great 4K monitor for editing. Moving on, let's talk about the device that is running this whole setup, which would be Samsung's flagship Galaxy Tab S9 Plus. The version that I'm currently using is the model which comes with 12GB of RAM, 256GB of storage, and the Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor. If you haven't checked out my review on the Samsung Galaxy Tab S9 Plus, then definitely go check that out as it'll provide you with all the specs and necessary information needed to help you decide whether or not this tablet is worth it for you. As of right now, it's been a few days with this tablet being my main device, and honestly, it's been a great experience. No, it's not as powerful as my M1 MacBook Pro, but trust me when I say power isn't everything. When it comes to productivity, this tablet offers a lot as Samsung DeX has been a game changer as it's provided me with an amazing window-like experience. It's been great rearranging app sizes to the way that I like them. This tablet is a productivity workhorse. When it comes to accessories, the first accessory is the Doku keyboard case, which has been my main case for my Samsung Galaxy Tab S9. This keyboard case is sturdy, durable, and lightweight. When it comes to the quality, the keys feel good, but when it comes to the trackpad, it definitely could be better. Besides the trackpad, everything else works smoothly and functions the way it's supposed to. My main gripe with the trackpad is the fact that it feels cheap and is extremely clicky when pressing down. The keyboard case comes with colorful backlit keys that have seven different backlight colors, three brightness levels, as well as a row of shortcut keys. As for my mouse, I'm currently using the Logitech Master MX3S wireless, which has been the best productivity mouse for me. The Logitech Master MX3S has been great as it feels good in the hand, has an amazing battery, and more. Next up, we have my USB-C hub, which is from Hyper, which is the HyperDrive Next 10 port USB-C hub. If you're looking for a great USB-C hub, then look no further as this one packs a punch. It comes with 10 different ports as it includes an HDMI 4K 60Hz port, two USB-C ports, two USB-A ports, a micro SD slot, an SD slot, an Ethernet port, a USB-C PD 140 watt port, and a 3.5 millimeter audio jack. Trust me when I say this hub has everything you'll ever need to stay productive. When it comes to storage, my Galaxy Tab S9 Plus comes with 256 gigabytes of storage with an additional 512 gigabytes of storage via micro SD. But still, I use a crucial two terabyte external SSD when it comes to transferring files, editing videos, and more. 
Now let's get to the fun part which is gaming. Gaming on this desk setup has been a blast. I've been playing a lot of Genshin Impact, Asphalt 9, as well as Cloud Gaming via Xbox Game Pass Ultimate. I don't know about you, but I jumped on that Power World bandwagon recently and I've been having a lot of fun with that game. Whether I'm playing on the monitor or tablet itself, it's always been a great experience. I love having the option to play games with a controller, so sometimes I'll use my Xbox controller or my PlayStation 5 DualSense controller. Which controller do you prefer? Let me know down in the comments below. As for entertainment, it's been a great experience. I love watching shows, movies, and sports on this setup. The only negative would be the fact that my monitor only has a resolution of up to 1440p and the display is an IPS screen instead of OLED, which is a noticeable downgrade. I've been on the market for a new display, so that is definitely something I'll be considering when making my purchase, as I'd hate to lose out on those true inky blacks and vibrant colors when it comes to my content consumption at this desk setup. When it comes to productivity, I've been able to still run my YouTube channel with this tablet to a certain degree. I've been able to plan my videos, create and edit my thumbnails, write my scripts, and more. Now, the reason I said to a certain degree is no fault to this tablet, but more on me as I never tried video editing on this device. I do plan on trying this in a later video, so make sure you don't miss out on that future video. The use of Samsung DeX has been truly something special, and it's what makes working on this tablet so easy and fun. Overall, this Galaxy Tab S9 Plus desk setup has exceeded my expectations and has been quite a delight. As someone who usually uses his PC or MacBook Pro to run everything, it's nice to know that this tablet has a lot to offer. In my opinion, it can replace a laptop for those who are looking to use this tablet for writing papers, responding to emails, and more. This tablet is no slacker and it could definitely help one run their YouTube channel if needed. Trust me when I say this tablet is not to be overlooked as it will provide the user with a fantastic experience for years to come. As always, Tech World, it's been a blast, and I'll catch you guys on the next video.